Okay, welcome back. Podcasting Beyond the Grave. G.I. Joe episode. And this time we have an assortment of deluxe sets. We've got G.I. Joe Dog Handler, Mutt, and Junkyard. Which one's Junkyard and which one's Mutt? Mutt's the uh, Handler. Okay. It's the human. We've got the Cobra anti armor specialist scrap iron. Goes with a giant drone. It comes with a bunch of stuff. It comes with a bunch of stuff. Yeah, we've got the Cobra mm. Hasbro exclusive Mad deluxe. Scientist. Mad scientist. Fashion icon, Dr. Mindbender. Correct. Any scientist who can just run around without a shirt and just a cape. And a monocle? Yeah. That's Cape, monocle, yeah. purple mm -hmm. pants. Purple pants, yes. Um, <laughs> Works out. That's actually really good. It's like how Einstein long. said he wore the same thing every day so that he didn't have to waste any time deciding that what to wear. That makes perfect sense That's for Dr. Dr. Mindbender because he's uh, like, I've got this outfit. Yeah. I look like I'm in some kind of fetish club, but that's I'm just going to wear it every day. That's some lovely art. Yeah, it is. Uh, this is all based on the uh, Rise Serpentor episode. And it's almost a shame to open this because the artwork is nice, but we're going to open it. You can save the box. Yeah, I can, but I probably won't. <laughs> so let's get the old doctor, doctor, doctor. Give me the news. Nice. Ooh, oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, he comes with oh, all brain. kinds of crap. We're gonna need a bag. So. He comes with, in the, the episode, they go and they steal, uh, what was it, uh, DNA. DNA from Histories. all of the villains of history. Not villains, of conquerors. Conquerors, yeah. Great conquerors. They went to Dracula's place. Yeah, but they He was a great conqueror. <laughs> Vlad Tepes was a, was a historical figure. Yeah. Genghis Khan and, and, his con and uh, Alexander the Great. No. Whose who's hand is that? <laughs> I don't know. And we have a mystery brain. Yeah, let's, let's pop him open. Let's get looking at this stuff. Um, this would have been cool to open up with the Serpentor we did a while back. Yep. Well, I didn't have him. Yeah. Um, actually, they, they grave robbed and they, they went through all this DNA. And then one of the DNAs was destroyed at the very end, so they took Sergeant Slaughter's DNA and stuff. Oh, that's right. This episode is going to be in, or episode is going to be in kind of fun because Public Defender was trying to get them to uh, oh, do he this, was, and he was trying to sabotage it the whole time. Public Commander was definitely... Well, I just, we just lost a head and went back behind scrap iron blocks. There it is. Pretty dead on. It's like, you know, that one of the choices is just trying to make these a little bit more realistic in certain aspects, but it's like you don't have to do much for Mindbender. And some of these guys, there was no way you're going to make them realistic. Yeah. So it's good they gave up on that. Mad scientist with the abs. He needs a peg or something. He's got a ton of stuff here. He's so got syringes and... Well, this is an homage to the original Hasbro figure. Okay. Because he, he did come with like some big hookah stick or something like that. <laughs> He's got a... Abnormal a, brain. A brain. <laughs> with some, some, brain probably goes with his tube here. Yeah. We've got... You know, he's, of course, he's got a... Let's see this hand. The hand can go into that. See the brain. Maybe. Uh, 
Oh, that's easy then. <laughs> it needs a, it needs a table. Oh, no, so he could take the brain out. You could have him play taking the brain out of the skull. Is that the playability on here? And I'm not sure what these little these connectors here are. Another action figure where adults don't know how to play with toys. <laughs> this is really bad. Here's his pistol. He's gun in his hand. And he's also got a he's got a holster on his leg. You can put that in there too. Yeah, and you're a buff scientist. You might as well carry a gun too. <laughs> of course, you carry a gun. Your his tank has a lot of guns on it. So. <laughs> I do like these. These are cool. What else does he come with? Is that it? That is it. Comes in a big, beautiful box. There wasn't nothing else in the plastic there. No. No. Nope. I'm not sure what these are. And it looks like a. Uh, oh, that's the DNA extractor, mm -hmm. or the. Because you can put the brain inside there, that's kind of cool. This dude is a total badass. He's living his best life. So is he actually missing an eye? No, he just wears a, a monocle like Mr. Peanut or something. Well, I thought it looked silver. Come here, you look the brain. Go yeah, on. it's like he's missing an eye or something. Or no, no, oh, it, no, it is. No. It's, it's the reflection. Yeah, but here's the thing: there's actually some slight magnification to the, to the monocle. Like you can see his eyes yeah. bigger, right? Yeah. Cool. Like when you wear a monocle. Yeah, yeah. Like when I wear a monocle, it always gives me a headache trying to keep one eye kind of <laughs> shut all the time. But seeing the brain goes inside the skull. Okay. And then. You gotta figure out what these are. What these little. Do they go on the bottoms? No, they go on the sides here. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like fuses or something. Double A batteries. That seems They're like a Cobra batteries. Well, they don't fit in on this one. That seems like a really weird thing to add. It fits in on this one. They do. Mm -hmm. Put them all in there. Yeah, it's your job now. Yay. Back to your knuckles. Okay. Dr. Mindmander. So we have now destroyed... And that's a great name. How do you just... You just name yourself that? Or is that an old family name? This is when Cobra got really weird. There's some other, like I want some of the other figures from this wave, like a, like a Raptor, the Cobra Falconer, who drove, rode around in a, a Falcon costume with abs. I don't recall that. No, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it hooks on to the, his hookah here. Hmm. Hookah. Okay. What uh, what nationality do you think? Uh, he's like the Baroness, man. He he's European. Just European. You got to be European to have a, a handlebar mustache, hmm. uh, <laughs> silver cod piece mm -hmm. that you're wearing there, mm -hmm. and the, yeah, really that pulls the outfit together is the the silver metallic suspenders and the cod piece <laughs> protect your crotch. <laughs> yeah, watch out for science. It's deadly. <laughs> Like your abs are mighty enough to withstand any attack, so you're fine there. But you gotta cover up down below. You know, because there may be a low blow somewhere. And the purple pants. So. Awesome. What's next? Oh, we could do junkyard, or we could do scrap iron. 
Let's do mud in the junkyard. I'm gonna play with my inventor. I'm gonna see what's going on here. So these are always fun for me when y'all get to open up the GI Joes because I didn't, other than some neighbor kids, I never get to play with GI Joes too much. So I love the old cartoons. So were you a bad child or something? Oh, no, I just was knowing the the He-Man stuff. That's what I was. Into more, but I love seeing these old, these old characters because I used to love the old. Well, this was '86. I think I was pretty much done with He-Man by this time. We got the hairy chest. It's got a fearsome look. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this thing has toe. That's what it is. I like that. Is the badge for dog dog walking? Dog walking badge. He's got a, a rifle. Got hairy arms too. He's look at my hairy arms. That's a real he has no band. Ain't comfortable. I like this guy here who, who shaves everything. God, that's a real man here. Keeps all his. My members European. Did you forget? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the way they do it over there. It must not get very cold from where he's from. What are you doing? <laughs> I think all these guns out. He's got more. You got a dog, you don't think you need all these guns. But... And not one dog thing. Here's the real star of the set. Uh, what's his unlike, possibility? Unlike this horrific mess that we had last time. Oh, yeah. Here's a dog. <laughs> Must be a dog. I think it was an episode where, where Cobra had some kind of weapon that could uh, control animals. And certain animals all mean, and so they had a mind control junkyard. Anyway, so junkyard's got a, a second friendly face with the tongue. <laughs> it reminds me of Triumph the comedian dog. <laughs> Probably needs a cigar, huh? Give me something to poop on. <laughs> it really does look like that. <laughs> I was reading at Entertainment Weekly from 2001 and it had an article with, uh, with Triumph in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. Somebody something. There's a hand. Problem underneath. Oh, some mud here. I think I should go. You tell. He gets three sets of hands. Wow. So we got like a gas mask, some goggles, a helmet. Looks like we've got and a knife. some punching hands, some trigger hands. Some pointing hands and a and a knife. And some goggles for his put his helmet on. So there's goggles for the dog too, right? No. No, no, see, no he looks there's more. There's two pairs of there's <laughs> two pairs of goggles. Seems like one of those is for the dog.
I think we're almost done with the with the animals, animal companions, because we've got the, you know shipwreck, spirit, snake eyes, croc mm -hmm. master. Um, trying to think who else. Well, Raptor, the Cobra Falconer, had a pet falcon. Okay. And um, the Dreadnought Poacher, uh, Nagahide, is coming out. And I think he comes with two animal friends. He comes with his uh, razor boar and a and a snake or something like that. <laughs> I need to get. I don't have any of the dreadnoks. I need all three of them are out I know. now. So I need. Uh, I've seen a few of them. At, at, I've at never seen them in person, but yeah, it's like I can't. It's like if you buy one, you have to you have buy to get all the three others. of them. Yeah, and they're expensive at retail. But eventually I will get them. Because a lot of them, like, like the Crimson Guard Twins, man, they came down on Amazon. They're cheap. They're yeah. like to fit four, yeah. 12 $14. I remember on. wanting to pre-order those. And I exactly. And I just didn't. I got burned on some of this Hasbro stuff. But yeah. some like Dr. Mindbender... If I hadn't pre-ordered him, you'd just don't have him because right. he, he, they've never re-released him. Yep. And uh, I got a coupon on Mutt and Junkyard here, so they were okay. Brink. <laughs> They're kind of badass, though. I think they look great. Yeah, yeah. I think they do too. <clears throat> In fact, all these look great so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, these are it's, awesome. It's, it's the better line to me. It's the best line that Hasbro is making. Right. They're putting more love and, and care into the line right because um they own the property or they just have a good team running the, the line and now we go back to the no plastic okay, so this guy i got on amazon he was on clearance so it's oh, cheap wow. enough not quite clear, but he was cheaper. Mm. Well, that's pretty cool looking. Mm. <clears throat> Look, they didn't go with the plastic for right. the ties. Yeah. Because it was in the box, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And he comes with the, with the foot locker with all this stuff. So. That's... Like I said, the original figure of this guy... He's got some scarring. Came with... Yeah, that's Came with this little mobile missile launcher. That was probably way tiny. Yeah, well, it, it was. It was nothing like a single piece of plastic. To something. this scale, it came with those bright red missiles. But I guess they wanted to make this guy a deluxe figure. Well, you know, if they hadn't, I don't know. Too many people were really dying to get this guy or not. I always thought he was cool. He was. Actually, he was in the Serpentor miniseries. He, uh, he's Cobra Commander's, like, uh, he's loyal to Cobra Commander. And right. I think he helps, uh, he helps uh, him sabotage uh, Serpentor. And here we got a lot of missile effects. I like when they do stuff like this, because these missiles mm -hmm. harkens back to the... They are exact replicas of what you can with. Mm. Here's this helmet. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Oh man, it comes with all kinds of these that's cool. giant blast effects. I almost think you know, per amount of plastic, you see a better value than Mutt and Junkyard. Well, I mean, I don't know, if you don't count all these. What, they were both, what, 40 a piece? Well, I got him for 35. Because you, you go to the Walmart over by my mom's house has got like a whole shelf of this guy here. You're supposed to. Don't put your eye out. No, oh, okay, the missiles go mm, like that. Nice. I like this one. 
There's no there. See the other missile. Having the blast effects around them is really cool because it's like they're being attacked and whatnot. And then he's got this, like his pad here. That's cool. Look, he's like shooting it now for sure. And where's all this guy though? Anywhere you want. Yeah, I probably won't use all this stuff here. But... Pretty cool. And they were all easy to put together. <laughs> Don't worry about Lucky it. us, right? Yeah. <laughs> Trick Ricker hasn't been very good. The blast effects are cool. It'd be nice if they just did that with random and make them um, deluxe figures where you get some extra <clears throat> stuff like that. Yeah, they really made Scrap Iron a lot cooler than he has any right to be. Mm -hmm. Because all this takes up a lot of space. Yeah. Makes it hard to put out his tank, huh? No, I got, I got, I got room. I've had room planned out for where it's going to go. So. Well, I can't wait to see the uh, display when you get done. All right. Yeah, it'll look great. Well, I like being jealous of a G.I. Joe collection, Brad. Okay. Yeah, you well, definitely got some nice ones. Yeah, and there's still tons more I don't have. Mm. So, A lot of them I've missed up on. Danny Duke and Scarlet. And yeah, they're, they're re-releasing those, aren't they? Those are the ones I want. Because yeah. the, the first Scarlet. Showing up on the blister packs? Yep. Yeah. And uh, Firefly, um, Crimson Guard, hmm. so that all the Dreadnoughts, Shipwreck, Quick Kick, there's quite a few still. So. Awesome. Anyway, this was the Joe's yep. episode. You should uh, subscribe, like, and tell all your friends about us. And leave a comment, let us know how we're doing. <laughs> Because we got to know. <laughs> Even though we have a pretty good idea, but you know. Thanks, guys.